In this tutorial, I will show how to run plan view daylight simulation within Revit by using Autodesk 360 rendering. And as we see here, this is the result. We can get the result in Lux, where we can control the scale, and we can also control the size of the plan view within Revit. Here in Revit, the first step is to create a special view for the daylight simulation and as it is right now it is necessary to create a camera view so I will go to view 3D view in the drop down menu select camera and this is not that important how it placed in the first time the thing that is important that is after having activated the camera it is needed to deselect as it a perspective because it cannot be a perspective then it will not be a plan view the other stuff is not that important in this case and the placement of camera is not that important either just in the model in the first time then it will open up the perspective view just increase the view frame and we want to see it from above then I click on the view, view cube top and rotate the view so we can see it in right direction and then after I can decrease the the frame. If I have some kind of context I should also take that into the view. So if I have it I go to VV and turn it on. In this case I have a mass as a context and then I can make it even smaller the frame just very close to the facade all the way around. Of course I'm limited to a rectangular box but in many cases I can crop the simulation after and import it into Revit as shown in other videos about Velux. But the method is the same. When I've done this I go to the unlocked 3D view function and save this orientation. Second go to the properties on the camera. I change the target to be zero. That's the same level as the ground level. That should be fine in this case. And the eye elevation that is the important one that is the section so if I want to do it on level 0 the lowest level it should be 850 because that is the standard of measuring daylight levels so I will type 850 in here and then I can see I will creating a section in the model and then of course I should name this view something logic so I could call it plan view, daylight simulation or just daylight and level 0 so I know what kind of view this is when I've done this then the next step is to simulate it I go to view and I'll choose render in cloud where I have this function of illuminance simulation activated next make sure I have selected the right view I could have more than just one view selected. Output type, here I select the illuminance, that is the daylight simulation, and I could specify the time. If I wanted to do it in summer, then I change the date to be June the 21st. The 21st is as a standard day in a month to look at daylight, and the time, that could be 12 o'clock, in the middle of the day. The next one is the sky model. Let's say I want to examine the clear sky then I choose this one. So we have different types of skies here but in this case I want to look at the clear sky. You should either choose between the overcast, intermediate or the clear sky. These values is defined by the solar radiation for this specific time I have chosen. In another video I have shown how to measure and calculate this number and or get it. In this case it's approximately 752 and 92 approximately and the two numbers is the direct normal radiation and this one is the direct horizontal radiation. Last the legend I should choose the units I prefer to look at logs and in this case I maybe need to have it as 5000 for the maximum 
but this I could change afterward. Actually, I can do with mo most of these uh, numbers. And last, when I've finished all the settings, I can press render, and then this uh, window pops up, and you actually can go on working in your Rapid model just by continuing in the background. After a few minutes, you will get the result in the cloud. If this window doesn't open, you have to click inside Revit on the view and render gallery, then this web page will open where you can access the different images or renderings you have created for this specific project. And as said before, it is possible to go in and re-render using new settings. So here I have the almost the same settings as before. And if I w want to have the the simulation as underlay within Revit, then I can download the image and put it in as an underlay. And this is shown in other videos. It's shown for daylight studies from Velux, but the method is totally the same.